how things changed this year without Mr. Brown? Uh, I mean, they haven't changed much. You know, Coach Jenks, Coach Jenks about the same stuff. He's keeping the same principles intact, so practices are still hard. Nothing's changed. Is there any difference in the way practices are run or your day-to-day -day routine? Uh, I think it's a little more up-tempo. You know, uh, Coach Jenk, he's more about us playing and learning from playing. You know, Coach Brown is more of a teacher. He'll stop more often, but, I mean, it's, it's pretty much the same. Did you guys get a pretty good crash course in him being the head coach last year at the first nine games? Uh, yeah, I think it was, yeah, I think it set the tone for what it's going to be like now, so I think it was. How are you and Sterling different as leaders than Nick and Jordan and Marcus? Uh, I mean, I'm not sure there was much difference. You know, we're just trying to bring the same kind of stuff they brought to the table. You know, we're trying to lead the team like they did, and we're just being more vocal, you know, trying to lead by example with our play, stuff like that. When you kind of think about going to the NCAA tournament, what, I mean, what comes to mind for this team and you? What comes to our mind is championship. You know, we, we believe we can uh, win a championship. We got the means to do it this year. We're not going to get set back, so we believe we can do it. So having helped build this program where it is now, you know, under Larry Brown, mm -hmm. do you take a lot of pride in this, you know, in going into your senior year and what you guys have accomplished up till now? Yeah, I definitely do. You know, we've had our seniors in the past that led us, so now we want to lead by example ourselves and we want to get the, the W's. Is the approach different or the intensity, I guess, at the start different knowing that the NCAA tournament is an option this year? No, I don't think the intensity is different. You know, we're trying to bring it every day. I mean, practice has been a lot. Well, I don't want to say we're practicing a lot harder, but it's, it's been fun. It's been fun. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, stylistically, the team, team changes a bit, mm -hmm. I guess, with a, a lot more threes and stuff like that. Can you yeah. just talk about that and, and kind of what different fans what fans will see is different? Um, you know, the principles are the same, but you know, Coach Jank has thrown a little more, uh, thrown a little different of, of a style in there. You know, we're going to shoot a little more threes on the kick out, stuff like that. We're going to push the tempo a little more. So I think the principles are the same, but just little things have been tweaked, not, not too much. In your game, obviously it's improved each year. What will be different for you this year or what you're looking at improving? Um, you know, I'm just trying to improve in any way I can to help the team win, as always. So whatever they need me to do, that's what I'm going to try to do. So You finally get Shemi Ojale on the floor with you this year. Yes. Everyone says he can do so many different things, and but you've seen him in practice every day. Yeah. A little scouting report. What does he do best? What does he bring to the lineup? <laughs> well, first things first is like we got to thank him for sacrificing what he did. You know, he's been sitting out, he's been waiting, and now it's his time. So we got to appreciate that. But he's bringing a lot to the table. You know, on offense he could shoot the ball. He could he could do it all, in my opinion. You know, on defense he's bringing the intensity every time. He's in the spots he needs to be. So he's going to be a big help to the team. Who would be the biggest surprises among the newcomers? Mm. <laughs> I can't say one in particular. They're all going to bring something different to the table when they when they play. So it's going to be a good. good and, to see. and they'll have to play significantly. I would imagine. Do you think they're they're ready for it? Probably. Yeah, I think they're ready for it. You know, we're going to practice. We're going to give them get more prepared for the game situations. But I think they're they're learning. What about the guys coming back? Who's made the biggest jump, either in terms of physical change or adding something to his game? I can't be specific to one. You know I can't be specific to one. I think everybody's improved over the summer until now. We're all focused in. We're all focused on one goal. So, I mean, we're all trying to improve in, a, in different aspects. What would you tell yourself now that you're a senior? What would you tell your freshman son? Mm, stick with it. Don't get down on yourself. You know, play hard all the time. Uh, and don't take anything for granted because it goes by like that. It goes by quick. And everybody was telling me that my freshman year, but I didn't believe it. Now I'm here. Has it sunk in yet that this is your last preseason camp? Yeah, it has. It has. And I'm just trying to take it at one day at a time, you know, master the day, as Coach Jank would say. So. Anything else, guys? Front court isn't huge. Mm -hmm. Back court is enormous. Everybody's 6'5", yeah. 6'6". Six, six, six. Mm -hmm. Is that a bigger drawback having, in terms of rebounding and in the paint, is it a bigger drawback to not have a lot of bigs up front? And you're tall, but yeah. not enough of you. Right. I mean, in a way it does, but the guards are in there rebounding almost every time. You know, they're crashing the offensive board, they're crashing the defensive board, and that length is going to help. And, you know, most of the guards that we have are really lengthy, so that's going to be a big plus for us.